Well, most of us have seen, if not heard about, that HGTV show Fixer Upper, but did you know Fargo has their own Fixer Uppers? We love these guys, too. Audrey yeah. and Matt and Mel are here. are going to show us how to flip your home and all kinds of fun holiday stuff as well, I'm sure. So welcome back, you guys. Good to see you. Sure, hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you so much. We're well, let's see. What do you guys want us to talk about first? Do well, we first of all, store? it's a daunting task to buy a house that you know you have to fix up. So yeah. any yeah. advice going into that, like just be mentally prepared for disasters? Uh, <laughs> Maybe yeah. we should be married five years before <laughs> doing our first flip was our first year. That was really, yeah. it was a lot of fun. We fun did our times. first <laughs> flip our first year of marriage, which is really, really crazy. And so, yeah, we, we flipped a couple homes together. Mm -hmm. We wanted to talk about those today. And then we also have Grace 1972, which specializes in that farmhouse chic cottage style look mm -hmm. and we have a lot of vintage pieces so you can think about flipping vintage pieces if you will kind of oh. go along with the theme so so we can talk about the house that we flipped first and then we can talk about some of the products we brought from our store people are interested okay. in in vintage if we have some photos yeah from that. we have a lot of before and after <gasps> that it, we can I probably love that. Nice. speak to. I love that it is so it, it, this was the house before on the exterior wow. and this was the house after and it, it took us several months and I did the design and the color scheme and the picking out of the materials and Matthew did all of the construction including the siding and the roofing that you see in this photo That's here. Amazing. A lot of finger smashing, some foreign <laughs> language, it was a good time. There were some so. stitches involved. <laughs> oh, oh really? Yes, yes, there was a window. There is a scar, yes. Yeah, he's got a scar. <laughs> so so the, the siding on this house, we'll speak to the photo, was really in rough shape um, when we decided to tackle this and uh, it really it, it, this isn't from the same angle but trust me the entire house looked mm. like this uh, when we started and it actually had been it had been a home that Matthew had owned for a while and it was a rental property and it just it wasn't left in great shape uh, right. when the when the renters left so we we really were kind of forced into flipping into flipping this home if we have before and after more before and after we could go to those from the mm -hmm. interior so this is the before of the interior interior we have the the dining room on the left there's Matthew and then we have this main uh, dining living area on the right there was a drop ceiling uh, there was old linoleum we did we had the flooring didn't really flow oh, at, that at linoleum. All. it was dark it was dreary so yeah does this look like a place you want to live not really <laughs> and it also smelled really really oh. bad oh well, that's wonderful <laughs> yeah i want to add there was renters in between when i lived there and yeah, the, the yeah. smell thing wasn't i was clearing yes, on that yes, so. Yes. so there was four you, years after me you so, obviously yeah. didn't keep the linoleum floors I'm no gonna guess. Those no came no up. we didn't so we can go we can go to the after photos and this is what it looked like after wow. so this is a little bit Matt, of transition oh, yeah. 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 yeah matthew why don't you talk about the things that you changed in this space well uh yeah it was it was real challenging because we were both working full-time but the the floors were really exciting because once i I pulled everything up and saw it was 1905 was when the house was built so that was the the antique yellow pine subfloor oh. yeah you can refinish a subfloor with lots and lots of layers of polyurethane and, on it and that is just a clear coat that's the natural color comes out oh, yeah. when okay. you do it's that so. and you'll notice the drop ceiling also left if you want to talk about the new ceiling and the crown molding yeah that was uh it's it's been five years, like I said, since we've been married. So at first, uh, it was kind of funny because I was like, Pinterest. And I'm like, I do not like Pinterest. I'm like, look at this crown molding on Pinterest. Can yeah. you do this, honey? And I've learned to say, I plead the fifth, your honor. But yeah. Uh, now, uh, yeah, she came up with the designs. And Pinterest gives you some some ideas that uh, help your own creative uh, juices flow. And so we just came up with our own crown molding and uh, lifted yeah. the ceiling up. And um, there was two really, really awesome highlights, and, and forgive me for putting you second, but the first was when we sold the house, the new couple was, had yeah. moved out of an apartment, and they cried. They cried. Oh. We have kitchen before and after, too. And then my um, wife said, out of her top ten life events, this is in her top ten, so <laughs> oh, I might have had a tear oh. come out from that, well, so there was, was oh, tears actually, involved. We have dining before, after, <clears throat> so this was the dining after. So remember that picture of Matthew standing in that mm -hmm. dining room before with the linoleum and the... The dark colors on the wall and the old wallpaper this is what this space looked like after and all we did like matthew said remove the drop ceiling put in sheetrock crown molding and you'll also notice a design tip that i like to give is i mount the curtains really close to the ceiling and that gives the illusion of a larger window so you don't have oh, to mount wow. your curtain rod Right above right the above curtain, it. you can put it up higher. It makes the space look a lot bigger. We just did a new light fixture, and look at how that flooring changed the look of that yeah. space. Wow, 
was absolutely amazing. And I also will give a plug, even though I have a store, one of my favorite national chains is, chains is Tuesday morning. And oh. all of those curtains oh, yeah. are from Tuesday morning, place. and they're $10 a panel. Well, they're another fantastic. thing that's really fun is Audra has a lot of skills, and I've got a couple, you know, very humbly. i got a few <laughs> things I can do, and we're great apart. But we're not the same. When we're together, the teamwork mm -hmm. that brings everything together and the flow, we could never be. We couldn't yeah. do that house like I that if it wasn't a ceiling. team effort. Yeah. Right. Here's right. the kitchen before. It was all <clears throat> naughty pine, very, very dark. And it was very on the naughty. Ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. It was very Pun naughty. intended. <laughs> uh, it was on the ceiling. It was on the walls. It was very cave-like. There was cupboard doors missing. <clears throat> um, the picture on the left is a built-in hutch, and I started to chalk paint it. So you'll see my blue painter's tape, and I'm not very good about before photos, so I really yeah. quickly snapped a before photo, even though I had yeah. already started painting it. Uh, and this is what it looked like after you wow. guys. Wow. Yeah. We actually did not replace the cabinets. We just painted them. And it, the transformation was incredible. And we also did not replace the countertops. Matthew just um, updated and removed the grout. And we did do a new sink oh. and new poles. But look mm. at the space if you want to that talk about that. Oh, yeah, the grout was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I thought my little machine would work, but it didn't. So I had to do it all by hand. So it was very, very okay. time consuming. And, uh, wow. The floors, too, all the way through, when you You'll look at those floors, floors, I'm circling back. There was 8,710,000 staples in there. You had to pull everyone out by hand. So I, I literally logged 118 hours in staple pulling. Yeah, it was Laying fun Laying on the floor, summer. it was fun. But, I mean, wow. I, the love of it is when you're done, the sense of accomplishment, it just gives you that warm and, and fuzzy feeling like yeah. you get around Christmas. This yeah. was a 110-year-old so. A-frame farmhouse. I mean, it was really in rough shape. And we also, you'll see, we had under-cabinet lighting. We just did the battery-operated under-cabinet lighting. That really lights the space up quite a bit. It was so fun. And yes, it was one of my top 10 life events. We flipped another house since a 5,000 square foot house. Yeah. And those pictures didn't work, so we won't be speaking to that one, <laughs> which is fine. But we also brought products from our store. So we mm -hmm. have a store, Grace 1972. And in the store, we sell vintage. Obviously, we like flipping houses. We like old things, making them new again. So I brought in some vintage items from the store. A corbel. There is an old coffee grinder. Yes. Ooh, and, that's and I wanted to show. I need. Yeah. That's, I wanted to show. That's not the haunted one, is it? <laughs> You know, no, it's not the Okay, good. One. We're not going to tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> we have no haunted pieces at our store. <laughs> but I wanted to show how you can incorporate your Christmas look into vintage. So I have just a little Christmas tree. I think I picked it up at Home Goods, tucked inside an old crock. Yeah. And that is a very, very popular and trending look. I have little, little ironstone pictures down here and just stuffed a little bit of Christmas greenery. An old milk jar. I just put some candy canes. And that's actually an all the curling iron right there and it's oh. green so i have that out for christmas as well we're also going to be in our store showcasing um, some custom built furniture i did nice. send a picture of a desk matthew built and i'm not sure mm. if that's there or Very not but neat. he makes custom furniture and that'll be available in our store after yep. the first of the year. shelves cabinets islands a lot of fun stuff coming keep your eyes peeled on the on yeah. the on the facebook and the instagram and remind people where you are 1404 33rd Street South in Fargo. And then you can eat a cupcake while you shop. Exactly. Amen to that. <laughs> Thanks, Eggnog cupcakes. All right, stick around. Elvis and some entertainment coming up right after this.